We have been walking from Muntgata today. Mari has been asking people we met about happiness, if they are happy. And I have been listening and recording the voices of the people. Quite close to Muntgata, we met some young children with a maybe a grandmother, older lady. And we asked the children if they were happy. And they said, very smiling, that yes, they were <laughs> happy. And uh, we asked why. And they answered, because we are sitting on this lion. And they were sitting on a, a sculpture lion. And they truly looked happy in their faces. We've been asking lots of different aged people. And the children was the one that actually looked happy when they said they were happy. Many grown-ups look more worried when we ask if they're happy and they say they are, but it looks like they're thinking about what makes them not happy. We met a couple outside the um, festning, Akershus festning, um, that was on holiday. They were around 40s engineers and on holiday and they were hesitating a bit but yes they were happy but they needed some coffee <laughs> to start the day even if it was two o'clock hmm. around the corner here we met two guys approximately maybe 50 50 years old and we asked if they were happy and yes they were happy but um, they were gathering there to talk about uh, problems in their home country, Ethiopia, and the killings and the murders there. And it led to a long conversation about this. Um, and that is important for them to gather and, and talk about what is happening there. Um, so the immediate happiness, when we asked the question, led into a long conversation of lots of things that makes you not happy. We also met a woman in the front of the train station in a demonstration about the uh, situation in Chile. And uh, she gave us a hug when we left. Yeah. She said she had slept for maybe two hours during the night. And she seemed really happy that we asked. And she answered to the question if she was happy, how can I be happy? And then she explained the situation and and said, how can I be happy when the, the people are being killed and the plants are being killed and the dogs are even being killed? Um, but she was happy we asked. And we met, we met, uh, who else did we meet? We met five young women by the lights down here. Uh, waiting for a green light and they say yes we are happy Madi asked how come how come you are happy and they said we had mimosa in the morning <laughs> the whole day Madi asked and they was like no not the whole day like half of the day at least and then they they left over the street hmm and we met some young guys further down Teyengata. And um, one of them explained to Madi that I am happy because I have uh, possibilities. And uh, possibilities to, to have a profession and earn my, my own money. And Madi asked, what, what do you want to be? What do you want to work with? And he wants to open a salon. Uh, uh, or be a hairdresser, a stylist, and explained that all his mates had the uh, haircut by him, but one of them was wearing a hat and didn't want to show us the haircut, how professional it was, because he was so cold and he was freezing on his ears. And uh, the guy that wanted to be a hairdresser insisted that this guy was depressed, the one with the hat, and the guy with the hat insisted that he was happy. And 
the hairdresser said that this is a play for the recorder, this is a play for the, the camera, because we asked. So we never got into the truth about that, but they were happy we asked. <laughs>